Hi guys, it's Ramina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 55 on SO Exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're intended, let's just dive right in. So they're saying some val probability density function is proportional to this num thingy right here. So that means from there's some C constant that this is proportional to 1 plus x to the negative 4. And we know with all probabilities, when you integrate it along this all of this interval, it's you're gonna have to get 1. Because I'll probably add us the one. So, taking the antiderivative, you get 1 plus x, adding 1, so that's negative 3, negative c over 3, integrating from 0 to infinity. When you plug in the upper limit here, I'm just going to take c over 3 out. That's technically saying 1 over a really, really big number, because x to negative 3 makes it in the denominator. So 1 over a really, really big number is just 0, minus, when you plug in 0, you just get 1. So then you get this is equal to 1. Two, make it, two negatives make them positive, so you get c over 3 equals 1. So then c must be equal to 3. Knowing that, we're looking for the expected monthly claims. So we know that for any expectation, this is equal to x times probability function. So then in our case, our probability function is going from 0 to infinity of x times c, which is 3, times 1 plus x to the negative 4 dx. So this is just an integration problem. Um, there's actually two ways to do this. I'm going to approach it with a u, value, u valuable. I'm going to say set u is equal to 1 plus x. So then x must be also be equal to u minus 1. So knowing that, I'm just going to plug those in. The lower limit, when I plug in um, 0 for x, you get 1 plus 0. So then u must be equal to 1. The upper limit, when I plug in infinity, you get 1 plus infinity, which is still infinity, so u is going to be equal to infinity. Here, x, we said it was, again, u minus 1, u minus 1, times 1 plus x, we know is to be u, to negative 4. Taking the derivative of du, you get du equals dx, so then this would just be du. And here, I'm just going to multiply u to the negative 4 out. Oh, I lost my 3 here, but there's still a 3. <laughs> I'm going to multiply u to the negative 4, so you get u to the negative 3 minus u to the negative 4. Still integrating from 1 to infinity, 3 du. Again, when I take the antiderivative, I add 1, so u to the negative 2, negative 1 half, plus u to the negative 3, 1 third, right? Because the two negatives make a positive. Integrating from 1 to infinity, when I plug in the upper limit here, it's the same idea. 1 over a really big number is just 0 minus plus 1 over infinity. That's just 0, 2. And 2 negatives. Remember, it's minus. So that's negative 1 half plus 1 third. Right? But technically, it's negative in there. So remember, it's 3 times negative 1 third minus 1 half. That's negative, negative 1 6. So that's equal to 3 times 1 6, which is equal to 1 half, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!